You may be questioning, why was Star Stable started anyway? Well, today you'll finally get your answer. I'm starting a new series called SSO's Background because I'm more interested about learning this game in depth. So once again, why was Star Stable Online created? Was it because a Star Stable team wanted to make a game? or wanted to live their fantasy on horseback. Well, in Stockholm, in just 2010, Johan Schoberg had a vision to make a popular PC game, but more than just a PC game, he wanted to make it a multi-channel and globally functioning game. He wanted to grow he wanted to grow the game so big where he could develop a book series and comic books, even mobile apps. Well, congratulations to the Star Stable team because that happened. He wanted gaming to be more inclusive, so he decided to make Star Stable targeted towards women and girls. Because most games, like NBA 2K and Madden, are branded for men. Johan Joberg stated in an article, Early on, I started working on non-gender specific games along with non-violent games and this and this then developed into working on games that focus specifically on young female gamers an area i felt was very underserved having left my former job as chief product officer at paradox interactive i had the opportunity to join star stable entertainment where i had been a founding board member since 2010 as there, as that, as there, then, as there, then their CEO was transitioning out. This afforded me the chance to take the reins at Star Stable and jump into the saddle as CEO. See what he did there? Into the saddle and take the reins. Ha 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 ha. Okay, never mind. Before Star Stable Online, there was Starshine Legacy Games. Star Academy and the Star Stable games, but the creation of these games led up to the amazing game now, Star Stable Online. Over the years, SSO has increased their product line to music, comics, books, and uh, mobile games. But their main goal was to bring together girls. They also strive to be more inclusive and globally impactful. But has this happened? Yes, as they strive for inclus as they strive for inclusivity within the female community, it happened. But one of Johan's inspirations was his daughter. She's an avid player, and that is SSO's main audience. Johan ha also created Star Stable, hoping for gender equality. That's why the game is female based, because of mishaps between men and women way back then. At first, SSO just wanted to be a game for girls, and now, and now no one expected it to get as big as it is now. In Star Stable's video on YouTube labeled Star Stable a mad idea, it states, They said making a game for girls was a mad idea. We said, being a girl in a male-dominated world was a mad idea. They further discuss how when you put your mind to something, you can achieve it. Star Stable is also more than a game, the video stated. This isn't about empowerment. We're already strong. So if the game is about empowerment, what is it about? It's about proving people wrong. And the game wants to encourage girls to be themselves and show who you truly are. They stand by horse girls and showing people that they are crazy, annoying, and weird. And standing by that st stereotype, and they stand by that stereotype because that's just who us horse girls really are. So, why was Star Sable created? To show that us horse girls, girls, and women will be ourselves and love what we love. We love horses, follow our dreams, and we will be happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below.
Bye-bye, everyone.